All right, so here we go. The former two-division champion, Daniel Cormier. Who can forget what he accomplished in 2018? Arguably the best calendar year that any fighter has ever put together. And DC back strong here tonight in the Hall of Fame, but getting back in the octagon tonight. It started in Boston. I believe the highlight of that year was in July in Las Vegas when I beat Steve Miocic. It was a night that you never could have imagined goes out there and gets the first round finish. This guy has all the skills in a heavyweight. He possessed the power that he may not have had at light heavyweight. A tremendous, well-rounded mixed martial artist and a UFC Hall of Famer. And the only thing that has eluded this athlete, Daniel Cormier, of course, in his athletic endeavors, the Olympic gold, but how about the mixed martial arts success? Eight UFC title belts and a whole lot more of accolades at home there in Gilroy, California. So here he is, one of the consensus greatest of all time, the newly minted UFC heavyweight champion, John Bones Jones. And I think by and large, this sport is better when he is in it. Tonight, he tries to successfully defend his UFC heavyweight title. Yeah, John Jones at heavyweight is something that we have waited for for a really long time. And to say that he delivered would be a massive understatement as he won the fight in the way that he did. John Jones, once again, building on such a strong legacy. Few guys relish fight night as much as John Jones. You see him grinning ear to ear as soon as he hits the tunnel. We'll see how it goes in title defense number one. John Jones set to fight DC, Daniel Cormier. Our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Daniel D.C. Parmian. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight Champion of the world, John Bones Jones! Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for fight. this one. Ready. Go on. All right, here we go, early round one. We talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Well, we've already got too many Rosendo Sanchez boxing shout-outs in the game, <laughs> but certainly your jab is working tonight. Shout I mean, the jab is working beautifully up there. Let's go Javier Mendez. There you go. This is a credit to Javier Mendez in the great mind of the AKA legend that has showed you how to do this jab. All right, no surprise. He hurt him. Single collar tie locked in. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Takedown defense is there. Fighters separate from the clinch. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg. Nice finish. Now inside the 
close guard. And he's gonna try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. He passes to half guard. Hard working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you gotta be careful here. Nicely done. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by DC. Oh, right to the mount. Oh, he's got to be careful there, yep. Jones is in half guard. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Under three minutes to go in round one. Beautiful straight punch there by Johnny Bones. He's got that single collar tie. Guillotine jump. Looking for the guillotine lock right now, and it looks like it's in. He's done a great job of securing him, but now he's got to settle him if he wants to finish the fight. Look at how intent he is to finish the sub. That is great submission defense, keeping everything short and not allowing his opponent to get the submission victory. Right inside his opponent's guard here, DC. You don't want to play around here too long. No, you got to either have two hands in or two hands out. Our guys start to attack Triangle. Late round action now, and the storyline has been John Jones really from the outset. The ground and pound has been absolutely vicious. Yeah, just getting back to himself, J.A., getting back to, I'm the guy that's going to take you down and put your head through the canvas. He got takedowns early. He made sure that he took advantage of being in dominant position and made his opponents pay. Ground and pound the hammer Mark Coleman will be proud. Yep, got to be very careful there. The ground strikes starting to pile up. Well, it looks like he's got a couple hooks in here, DC, and defensively, you better be careful. Hard working inside his opponent's guard here. You cannot sit in these jiu-jitsu guys' guards. And you can't have one arm in, one arm out. Guys can start throwing up legs, chasing triangles. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. And the front kick is there. Nice job by Jones. Oh, he's stuck in a guillotine. Oh, great submission defense. Great defense by the defensive fighter. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively but also defensively. Fifteen seconds to go. Stuff to take down, no problem. Might be a submission attempt here, Chad. I mean, you cannot sit in a full guard. When you sit in a full guard, you give these guys so many opportunities. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. All right, here we go, folks. Round two, Johnny Bones Jones. And that handsome guy on the other side is DC Daniel Cormier. Well, there was a moment in that previous round when it looked like we were going to get to this next round. Here we are. We will see the extent to which he has recovered. Let's see how he recovers over the course of that minute. They were putting water over his head. They were trying to bring him back. But I would advise him to twitch a lot in the first round of this round to try and give himself a little bit more time to get back into the fight. That shot blocked by Columbia. Nice 
boxing chops there from Daniel Cormier. We talked so much about the wrestling. Don't slip on those hands. Yeah, but it's because of the wrestling that allows this guy, especially a guy like DC, who's shorter, to manage distance, manage space in the striking room. Man, how good is this takedown defense tonight? Pretty good attempt offensively, but once again, what is that? Well, the wrestler's doing a good job of setting up his takedowns. He just can't finish. This guy's really good, man. And we knew this would be an even fight. But you are seeing the more well-rounded guy get the job done today. Cormier gets the takedown. Nice reversal on the ground. Great job. Cormier gets up. He is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Well, the more things change, the more they stay the same. He continues to land a high volume of strikes on his opponent at will. Well, I mean, John, the guy can fight everywhere. And he can fight everywhere, meaning he can fight on the ground. He can fight in the stand-up. But he's also able to do it because his cardio is so good. Right. This is one of the best fighters that we have seen for a long time. And it is showing in this performance. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Cormier. Now he's on top, exactly where he wanted to go. Jones has got full mount now. Now he's got a good body position, yo. And he's back up again. So the takedowns have been there, as have the get -ups. Nice check on the leg kick off right there. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace. He's going to get it, team. Oh, he's out. Well, he's got the ground and pound going now. Strong work from the top here by DC. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Oh, right into Mo. He's got to start throwing now. Landing strikes nicely here from top position. Another ground and pound strike lands. Gotta be careful here. Cormier's right back to the full mount here. Lands with the ground and pound here. Cormier's got his back yet again. He's killing it on the ground. Another strike gets through. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Well, that combination's gonna leave a mark. You see him getting top position, standing over his opponent, and delivering the ground strike. Nice job by Cormier. Nice transition. 20 seconds to go round two. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Cormier. All right, crowd absolutely loving it as the fighters, however compromised, make their way back to the field. They may be tired, but that tired, that fatigue is warranted. That was a high level ground exchange between two phenomenal ground. Ten minutes in the books. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, well, I'm no doctor. I'm not going to diagnose a broken nose, but a huge cut on the bridge, and his opponent continues to attack him. Continues to attack it as he should. He did the damage. He was the one that landed the shot that opened up that cut. Now he's got to make his opponent pay for it. He was a bit lax in the defense, and now... He's got that massive cut on the bridge of his nose. You ready to fight? Ready. 
Good. Round three of a possible five. He's really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. All right, next round is underway, and if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10-plus minutes of fighting. He's in the mount. Working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Cormier. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give it more of an advantage on the map? Now he's going full mouth. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Scramble and go! Scramble and go! Nice positional control here. Well, we'll see who has the edge here as they get back to their feet after a pretty engaged battle there on the ground. And both of these guys should feel pretty satisfied because they both had the... Oh! Might get the My TKO back. here. My back. Oh, guilty, guilty here. That guillotine is tight. Looking for that submission. It's always hard when you're trying to end the fight. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Well, how about the movement off of the back? Nice job to avoid the ground and pound here by Corey. Oh. And he's able to work his way back to his feet. Another shot here. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. So we have passed the midway point in the fight. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. All right, that half kick starting to show some visible signs of bruising now. And it's exciting him. He's excited to see that all the work that they've done in preparation is showing itself in the octagon. Oh, he jumped guillotine right away. That guillotine is tight. Now, not a fighter you want in half guard against you for the bottom fighter when it's a move. He needs to secure his underhook. He's got to be fighting, fighting, fighting for underhook. One of the most key... Oh, another submission attempt by him now. Oh, that's good to hear. Wow, fantastic submission defense yet again. This is a terrible position. Well, he's on his back, but he's moving his head on the ground pretty well defensively. So he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Beautiful transition. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch is starting to land from the top position. Twenty seconds left. Striking from every position lands a strike from the bottom. Good solid strike on the ground. Right, that's three rounds in the 
Schultz, we are headed to the championship rounds. And there is the horn. Big five minutes for him there. Great round from Cormier. All those spins, all the conditioning he did in the gym has really proven itself. That is your key to victory. All right, let's check out some of the action, DC, and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper, and it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here's round four. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. you got to get back off that stool. And this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Close on the submission now. Oh, and he's out. Look at him attack that arm triangle on the opposite side. When it's time to finish, he will lock his hands, pass his body all the way to the opposite side, drop his chest to get all the way down. Oh. The okay, he's got it. That's it. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get so. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Pretty good head movement. He's avoiding a lot of these ground strikes. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, now we got some blood, ladies and gentlemen. It looks as though that shot has cut him open. Now we're in a fight. Let's Now go. we're in a fight, John. I mean... We got the blood flowing. The guy's got a cut. Let's see how this fight plays out more forward. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Oh, he got to the spot. Back mount now. Really good job with the ground and pound. And now you can see some visible swelling on his opponent. Oh, reverses the position now. Outstanding work on the ground by Corbin. Well, that was a high-level extended battle on the ground. Now, though, the athletes back to their feet, and no surprise, the crowd is bouncing. Oh, huge elbow! Just over two minutes to go in the round. So the flood really... Gives up on the submission. Looked pretty tight to me. Oh, he's going for a choke here. This could be tough. Oh, he's got the submission locked in now. Back and forth we go. This might be it, though. This cannot happen much longer. Oh, he Ezekiel choke, and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Cormier's eye is closing up. Oh, the ground and pound is coming. Good movement to avoid some of that power coming back. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this dominant position. Oh, man. I feel for a wrestler, this is the most dominant position in all of fighting because wrestlers love control. Right. And to have your upper body free and your leg able to hold your opponent in position, it is like striking gold. Build your posture, throw your punches. Look at him attacking that guillotine. Ooh, that submission looks tight. Oh, 
Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission, D. And he will let his opponent stand up here. And there he goes, lands another combination. His cardio is so good that his event. Oh, that's so hard work. Got him hurt. Got him hurt. Let's finish. 30 seconds now to go in the round. It's blocked. Nice kick oh. attack to the body lands for him. Final seconds of the round. Jones get the takedown. A nice transition there. And showing off the fight IQ. He was getting touched up on the feet. Takes the fight to the ground. Oh. 20 minutes down, five will go. Oh. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cottonman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs the strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Fifth and final round. Oh, this could do it. You heard him bad. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he heard it bad with the jab. some significant swelling upstairs and continues to attack that area to great effect. Absolutely. I mean, the guy has done a great job recognizing where he had an advantage, where he has an ability to separate himself from his opponent. He's done exactly that, and it's showing in his opponent's face with all that swelling. And now he's got the back. Now drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and pound. All right, champ, starting to see some swelling upstairs now. Well, he's taking way too many shots to the head. You got to move your head. You cannot be on a straight corner. Cormier's got his head looking for a guillotine chip. Oh, that killing is done. Oh, man, that was slick. Oh, postures up and now goes with the big strike to the body. Well done there by Jones. Right to side control, yep. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Blocked. gets denied. Blocked! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Changing the position. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Jones is in half guard. What a great sequence by him, mixing up his strikes and once again targeting that already damaged, swollen area upstairs. That's exactly what he should do. You know, we are talking about a guy that is so talented, that is so disciplined, that when he can see swelling like that, he's going to continue to attack it. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, look out, folks. That is tight. It looks like it's getting going. He's got it locked in. Oh, he got out. A lot of top pressure being applied here. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Two minutes now to go in this one. He's got to be careful here. Well, he's worked very hard on this part of his game, and these ground strikes are really starting to take their toll. These ground strikes are starting to add up. Well, doing his able best to avoid the ground and pound here. Nice job by Jones. 
Well, not good body language from his opponent here, DC. He's curled up. No, he's exhausted. He's been beaten. Well, the striking clinic continues, and he's wise to attack that already damaged area upstairs. He's attacking that damaged area for the opponent. He's got to get that head moving on an ass. That is it! Daniel Cormier has done it! Holy! Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight, and the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. All right, let's get you some replays now. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 43 seconds of round number five. You're playing the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Daniel DC. All right, well, you know he's got wrestling, you know he's got submissions, but he's also got power. Don't sleep on it. Daniel Cormier, your winner by TKO. You know, just pressure. A lot of pressure led to the TKO finish for Daniel Cormier. Congratulations on the master performance, champ. I love you. <laughs> <laughs>